What is up guys, welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Today we are actually going to obtain the Master Sword. So yeah, it's actually going to be a really fun episode. Can't wait. Um, sorry about last episode, for some reason the game audio got messed up, so it was like super ratchet. Um, so my bad on that one, I actually didn't know that that would happen, but it did, and there was nothing I could really do about it, so my bad on that one, but... I actually did a, uh, I didn't do a test recording that time, but this time I did. But here we go. We got this chimp over here, jumping around like a crazy monkey he is, and we got some skeletons attacking him. All right, we gotta take these fools out. Gotta take out these thugs. Ooh, oh, yeah. Pretty easy enemy, honestly. Just gotta hit it once, and it's already dead. So it's basically nothing. Did you save me? Thank you. Listen, since you're so nice, let me tell you something. There's really, there's a really pretty, pretty wooded area on the other side of the cliff. I climbed over there, but when I tried to get deeper in the woods, those guys attacked me. What's in those woods anyway? Well, why don't we find out? All right, let's go ahead and activate Midna. So there's another section of forest beyond this cliff. All right, Link, let's go. Imagine how scary this would be in real life if you were here jumping from ledge to ledge with a little weird little Midna thing. Midna is is a strange little creature, dude. I don't know. Okay, whoa. Gotta get rid of these keys here. Gotta wait for this to do the little roundabout. There we go. Aw, oh, man. This is bringing back the good old memories of uh, the, the forest temple. Oh, no. This is quite uh, dangerous. Tight roping dog dodges big logs swimming, swinging from the tree. All right, looks like we got a little. Okay, I think I got that. Uh, I think I messed it up. Hold on, let's listen to it again. Again. Okay. Really? Is that not close enough? There we go. I like how it leaves those little hints right there because it's so much easier. Dude, this looks like a mix of Mario Galaxy and Zelda. I don't know why. It just reminds me of like Princess Peach's castle and then like the the um, space or whatever. I would love to do a Let's Play on Mario Galaxy or two, Mario Galaxy one or two. That would be really fun. I think that's my favorite howling song right there. So nice. So beautiful. Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. I love those moments, man. It's just so amazing and so cool. Well. Why did I open the map? What the heck? Okay. Here we go, continuing on. I've been really focusing on YouTube though lately guys. Um, just to let you guys know there's so many videos coming your way. Uh, I've been just recording videos back to back, editing them and then right now I have a video uploading on my Mac while I'm recording on my gaming PC. It's so cool. I actually edit on my Mac so. Yeah. Um, this is kind of strange. Oh, look. Oops. Oh, 
Oops, what the heck? I already messed it up. Okay, okay. Almost got it. There we go. Oh, it's, it's, uh, isn't this Zelda's lullaby? Pretty sure. Ooh, this song. I love this song, man. This is my favorite Zelda song right here. He's got like a little trumpet flute horn thingy, which actually calls those little puppets he's got. Um, and yeah, this part isn't very hard. You basically just got to kill him off and chase him. Uh, and if you don't know which way he's going, you just kind of kind of have to listen to the music. Is that all of them? Oh, wait. Is there one more? Hey, he's like sneaking away from me. He's scared. Okay. No. Oh, wait. I guess that's the only way we can go. Ugh, get out of here. Disgusting. Disgusting creatures. Yeah, so if you hear that little trumpet, um, then you'll know it's him. This is my favorite Zelda song right here. Just, ah, oh, it's so beautiful, man, with the trumpet. Woo! I would love to learn that on my trumpet one day. I actually play a bunch of, a plethora of instruments. Um, I may not be the best, but, you know, I have them and I can learn them. And I would love to maybe even learn it and play it for you guys on YouTube. That would be really cool. Probably, I don't know. I would have to really get confident at it to do that, but yeah. Where is he at? Oh, here we go. I'm just really trying to stay quiet so I can listen to the music because it's so beautiful. But where the heck is he at? Oh, gosh. I love this song. It's my favorite. Where is he? Dude, it's so cool how I can kill them with one single attack. Oh, wait. Which way did I come from? Did I come from here? I don't want to go back. Oh, wait. Oh. Uh, what? Get away, man. These things are annoying as heck. Have I been here? Or oh, I went in a circle. It tricked me. Get out of here. Oh, there he is. I didn't go in a circle, did I? Could I get Midna to help me out? Ah! So annoying. Uh, oh, I see. I gotta swim. Now this fool's making me swim. I'm gonna sneak attack him here. Boom. That'll teach you to mess with the hero. This is honestly my favorite version of Skull Kid. Um, I think he looks so cool. It kind of reminds me of like a, um, just like, kind of just like a little trickster and like a little prankster almost, you know? I like him. He's cool. I think he went this way, did he? Uh, gotta, gotta go over here, I guess. Oh, yeah. This is definitely a new area. Man, these things, these stupid puppets are so annoying. 
Honestly. Get out of here. I feel like I already went in here. There's so many similar areas that like look similar, but they aren't. Oh yeah, yeah. See? I I'm second guessing myself, but I know I'm right. And now he's down there. Whoa. This is so cool. It, I always thought when I was little, like, he had the same hat as Link. Because he had that little, like, floppy little cap. But, I guess, I don't know. He has, like, a kind of a wizard hat or something. Now this is basically, like, the little actual battle, you know? Now he's mad. <laughs> Quite a stomp right there. He kind of looks like um, the moon in Majora's Mask. Like that smile and everything. Uh, oh, wait. I think I have to kill all of them before I attack him. Now he's gone. Did he get more? Oh. Boom. Right before he calls more, you gotta get him. Ooh, now we got, what, five? Oops. I didn't mean to do that, actually. There we go. Oops. Ah, I targeted on him. Dang. Get out of here. Where do you? Okay. There we go. I think one more, right? Third time's the charm. Y'all know. Ooh, now we got a bunch. Now we got seven. Midna, what do you want? No matter how many times you defeat these things, they keep coming back. We ought to lay down a field of dark energy and beat them all at once. Yeah, I guess you're right. Gotta lure them all over here, though. Screw off. Get him. Okay, there we go. I was worried I wouldn't, I wouldn't hit him. He kind of reminds me of, like, a tiki or something. I don't know. It, it's so strange, but it's so cool. Hee hee hee. Bye. And now we can proceed to getting the Master Sword. And we actually have enough money to get the Hylian Shield too, so I'll probably do that. Maybe even in this episode. I don't know. Alright. Just gotta go right in the middle and howl. There we go. Definitely the most beautiful howling song. All the howling songs are just really dope. They're really cool, man. And now we got this little puzzle, and this is what Zelda's known for. It's puzzles like these. This one's actually not that hard. These guys actually remind me of uh, Guardians from Breath of the Wild. They seem menacing, but they don't really do anything. We are guardians of this land. Guide us to where we once stood. Only then can you enter the true sacred grove. So yeah, this may seem very hard. It's really not. Um, and I'll show you how to do it right now. So you go right. I love this song. Down. And left twice. See, so they can't actually move. But you're still moving. Now we go up. Gotta make sure I don't mess up. Right. And look, we're right where we started. Now we go up twice. 
and up again so this one moves but not the other one then we go right down twice and then left and then up and there we go easy as that first try I did it I'm actually surprised I remembered how to do that it's kinda just like photographic memory I guess or was that photographic memory I don't know and since we have it's only been such a short episode I'm probably going to uh, get the Hylian shield as well so next episode we're just super super like nice go now to the sacred place beast we yield passage to the sacred grove these are actually some really cool statues honestly that like look at them hold on let's let's take a good gander at these guys like dude pretty pretty awesome right there such a beautiful like temple or sacred grove or whatever and here we are it's the master sword it looks kind of this looks a lot like the area in breath of the wild um where the master sword was oh man look at that Oh look, it's a little shard that was in our head. Oh yeah. The sword accepted you as its master. Is it just me or are you guys getting tingles and goosebumps from watching that cutscene? This thing is the embodiment of the evil magic that Zant casts on you. It's definitely different from our tribe's shadow magic. Careful, if you touch it, you'll turn back into the beast. This thing is too dangerous. It's probably for the best we just leave it here, huh? But on the other hand, if we kept it, you'll be able to transform into a beast any time you wanted. Yes, since Zant was kind enough to give this to us, we should be thankful and use it all we can. I guess you're right, Minna. If you need it, just call me. I want to keep a low profile, so I'll hide in your shadow when you're human, but I can change you when, whenever. You can be a wolf any time you like. Also, thanks to this thing, you can warp whenever you want by switching into wolf form. Hey, but listen, Link, I've got a little favor to ask. Would you mind coming with me to find something called the Mirror of Twilight? It's hidden somewhere in Hyrule. Yes, the Mirror of Twilight, our last potential link to Zant. So, there we go. We have obtained the Master Sword. And look at that. Woo! What a nice thing. All right, so now let's warp. I'm going to warp to Kakariko Village so I can get the uh, Hylian Shield, of course. Where is it? Okay, there we go. That is so sick. Seeing that little transformation into a wolf is just so awesome. And here we are, back in my favorite area in this game, besides Faron Woods, is Kakariko Village. I love this theme. Whoa! It's a monster, everybody! Run!
It's just me. It's just me. It kind of reminds me of that book. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but back, back in elementary school, I used to read this book, this book series, um, where like kids used to morph into animals or something. Hey, what's up, dude? Welcome to Mallow Mart. I've heard from a reliable source that shops in Hyrule Castle Town are gouging prices, crushing folks under the thumb of commerce. Well, fear not, brother. For Mallow Mart has proposed a townspeople relief plan as an answer to lamenat lamenat lamentations of the common man. Jeez, I'm, I can't pronounce nothing. Phase one, repair the broken bridge leading from East Castle down to the field in order to improve traffic. Phase two, buy that Castle Down shop and sell products to the town at reduced prices. You have heard me right, brother. There is a problem, however. The finances for the execution of this glorious plan are lacking. Please, but offer some financial support. I will, once I buy this shield. 200 rupees? Woo! That's quite a lot, but you know, it's very much worth it. And now, to donate to my buddy right here. Some 60 rupees. A thousand rupees short. Ooh, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> Alright, let's get to 60. I'm just gonna donate all of it, because, you know, I'm a nice guy, man. I, I'll donate to the Mallow Mart management, you know, why not? We come along rupees a lot, so here you go. There you go, my friend. And now we have the Hylian Shield and the Master Sword. That's kind of what I've always done. I've always, in Zelda games, got them at the same time. Because, you know, they kind of coincide with each other. Alright, so, oops. Oops. I pressed the wrong button way too many times. There we go. Um, I, always, I always forget which button is which, but... Ooh, looking fresh. Oh, man. Look at that. That is just so awesome. Yeah, look at us. That is so awesome. All right, guys. Well, that was a little bit of a short episode, but we did, you know, obtain some good items. And look at this cool guy right here. That's the sickest Goron I've ever seen. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, man. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.